On Sunday, the 25th of March, 1984, Liverpool's two great football clubs met each other at Wembley for the first time in a hundred years. The occasion was the Milk Cup final. third of all the men in the city left Liverpool to be at the match. They left most of their wives and girlfriends behind. We joined 27 of those fans as they prepared for their Wembley weekend. It doesn't matter whether the Labour government is in power or the Conservative government is in power or the STP. This place will still get knocked. But this what's happening now at London in Wembley is ours and nobody can take it away from us, can we? But it's not going to change anything afterwards, is it? How do you know? We don't as, as, as I say to you, we've got, we've got a full weekend of letting off everything that we've been building up and building up and building up, you know. And if you didn't ever turn that off, I'd say, God's help, bears out, mate. All right, if you're out of work in Liverpool and you haven't got a trade and you haven't got a skill and you're on the door, you're just a raglan nabby. What else have you got to look for? All you got to look for is your earn money, you'd have a bet now and again, you go looking for work, which we all do. They think there's no work out there. If they put the work in this town, we go looking for it. And all you got is, is the football. Well, with quite a lot of people, especially the young ones, football does do this, you know. Does what? It sort of make them forget that maybe they're not out of work or, you know, there's not much chance of them getting a job or, you know, various things, money's short. Football's got to do this, you know. Saturday afternoon might be the only out the lad gets who's on his own. And then if we were going down to Wembley with women on the bus, we wouldn't be able to let ourselves go like we do with the lads, and that's what we want to do. Thousands of Merseyside soccer fans have begun the big trek to Wembley for tomorrow's Milk Cup final. Already they're going down by coach, car and train for what's being billed as the match of the century. Yes, get that king off here, guys. Johnny, another cripple. Come on. There we go, here we go, here we go. People. That's the beauty of Liverpool, the people. The people make it tick over. It's not usually me having a mansion somewhere and I don't know anybody and I can't get on with the people. I'd sooner live here where I am now and have the people. I'd rather have the people and property and everything in life. I think if we give a good account of ourselves and show that we are human beings and not like they seem to think we are a load of scroungers and dogs bodies, that it, it could create jobs. Because the eyes of the world will be on us down there, won't they? I mean, people seeing Liverpool and Everton supporters, you know, together, you know, they say, well, it can't all be bad, can it? There's one thing you can take the air off the table, please. I went to Everton, I went to school. But only for a very short time. I went with the big boys. Just wasn't good enough for us. All you can remember them doing is leaving you sitting on your behind most of the time. Or the ball floating past you. Not really depressing, you know quite well, you're not good enough in your own mind. You can dream about it. I mean, people I still dream about it nowadays, I suppose. It'll always be nice to walk out at Wembley. Help me! 
Secretary, Liverpool, Liverpool. The little secretary chopped himself on the cup. No man had a few years back. Shankly spotted him and he said, cut him down, he's said it blue. <laughs> <laughs> I just used to love being a kid, you know, and you had no responsibilities and didn't have to worry about nothing. You come in and your mother dressed you. Well, she didn't dress you, she bought your clothes like, right? you know, she fed you, you know. And it was a good time and we'd go down and get the ferry over and go to New Brighton. And it cost nothing. And there was sand there then as well. And you could go to the fair, you know. Well, it's all gone now. I get crowds where you really get them bad. They drink too much, they can't take their drink, they're sick. Oh, they just want to fight with people. They just cause, just out to cause trouble, some of them. But this crowd are very good. You know, they're behaving themselves. And as I say, you get the other party where they, they'll do a Mooney and things like that. What's a Mooney? That's when they get up to the window on the coach and they just drop their kecks to the passing cars. Or they sometimes even do it, the, you know, to, to mainly to women. If they can see women going along the road, they'll do it to them. What would you prefer to take them, a busload of women or a busload of football supporters? Oh, obviously a busload of women, you know, they're more quieter than the football supporters. As I say, now and again, they will get drunk. But basically, the women just fall asleep when they're drunk. The fellas, they just want to start causing trouble, you know, but... You said the women are a bit more wild than the men. Oh, they are when they're in the clubs. They'll get them going in the clubs and they'll be coming out with all kinds of fellas. You know, they want to get the fellas on the bus and you've just got to try and stop them. Because once you get the fellas on the bus, you can't get them off them. It's a nice one. She's going up to the uh, Mons with a uh, few of her sisters, you know. She's got to go out, and she worked overtime this morning, you see. So let me come up here. Oh, no, so nice as well, aren't they? Flames, in it? Flames, yeah. Grab a granddad. The place will be up in flames. Grab a granddad in flames. But she knows, and trust me, she knows I won't be getting up to anything. Get Only drunk, like, she knows I'll get drunk. <laughs> but not like tomorrow when we win. No one will no recognise seeing it anyway because it's the only chance he gets a frock on us when he goes to Wembley. When was the last time we went to Wembley? The last time she got a frock. <laughs> he said, whenever when you're a European couple, we're going to get married. <laughs> that, was, that was three kids ago. <laughs> yeah, it's quite strange when the man is like being out to work, you know. What can you do? You know, you just gotta check yourself up and get on with it. I mean. That's after the wife, you know, and as it's going now, it's she's got to look after me. What a man wants to be kept by one, you know, and it's I mean I'm not the only one that it's happening to. There's one of them a good yard out with all the girls, the Wembley widows, Wembley widows night out, enjoy themselves. Why not? We're enjoying ourselves. Everyone take 